Hi, thank you for providing DNA specimen collection services for Identigene. Identigene has been a world leader in DNA paternity testing since 1993. With the first paternity test collection kit available at pharmacies in New York, Identigene has made paternity testing and the specimen collection process easy, quick, affordable, and convenient. The Identigene Laboratory is fully accredited with the New York State Department of Health. In New York, the DNA specimen collection process must be witnessed by a disinterested third party, the collector. As collector, you will verify the identity of each participant, make sure all forms are completed, observe specimen collection, and mail the specimens to Identigene. Collectors play a critical role in bringing peace of mind to people with questions only DNA can answer. Here's how it works. Clients first purchase the DNA Paternity Test Collection Kit for New York residents from their local pharmacy. New York residents obtain testing authorization from an authorizing agent, such as a physician, nurse practitioner, or attorney licensed in New York State. The physician or other agent authorizes testing by signing the paternity test order form included with the kit. Even though a licensed agent, such as a physician or attorney, must authorize the paternity test, any disinterested third party may act as collector. Because the test uses a simple cheek swab, no medical training is required. You only need to follow the few simple steps outlined in the collector instructions included with the kit. Let's take a look at a typical collection appointment for New York residents so you can see just how quick and easy Identigene has made the process. Most appointments will be completed in 15 minutes or less. Start the clock. The test participants bring the paternity test order form to the collection appointment along with the sealed tamper-evident collection kit. Before beginning the collection process, check that the paternity test order form has been completed. The name and role of each participant should be clearly indicated. The authorization section should be completely filled out with a name, license number, and signature of the authorizing agent. You only need to check that the form has been filled out. Identigene will verify the license number and other information when the specimens arrive at the laboratory. Next, verify that the tamper evidence seal has not been broken. The seal should be intact across the opening of the kit with no visible cuts or tears. If the seal has been removed, the word void will appear in a repeating pattern on the collection kit. Stop the clock. If there is any evidence that the kit has been tampered with in any way, stop and immediately discard the kit. Call Identigene to request a new collection kit and further instructions. Identigene will express ship a new kit to you, the collector, as quickly as possible. Okay, let's continue. Step number one. Verify the identity of each participant. To ensure that participants do not misrepresent their identity, obtain proof of identity from each participant or their legal guardian. Acceptable forms of identification include a current photo ID, a recent clear photograph suitable for identification purposes, a clear photograph taken at the time of collection, Please note that a driver's license or other printed photo ID is not required. Any participant, minors or adults, can use a photograph taken at the time of collection. Photos can be taken with a traditional Polaroid camera, digital camera, or even a smartphone, as long as the picture is reasonably clear. Photocopy the identification for each participant. Ask each participant or their legal guardian to sign and date the photocopy of their identification. As collector, you must sign and date each photocopy. Step number two, 
completely fill out one chain of custody form for each participant. The participant's name should be written exactly as it appears on their identification. Ask each participant or their legal guardian to sign and date the consent statement found on the chain of custody form. Again, as collector, you must sign and date each chain of custody form. Step number three, completely fill out one specimen envelope for each participant. Ask each participant or their legal guardian to sign and date their specimen envelope. Once again, you, the collector, must sign and date each envelope as well. Step number four, observe the specimen collection for each participant. The participant should open the packet of swabs and using only one swab at a time, aggressively scrape and rotate the swab inside the mouth against the cheek for about 10 to 20 seconds. Be sure to use all three swabs for each participant. Step number five, place the used swabs directly into the appropriately labeled specimen envelope. Do not place the swabs back into the plastic packet. Step number six. Finally, the following should be placed inside the postage paid return envelope and mailed to Identigy. Photocopies of identification for each participant. Chain of custody form for each participant. Specimen envelope for each participant. Paternity test order form provided by a participant. Stop the clock. In this example, our collector gathered specimens for an alleged father, child, and mother in just 12 minutes. Impressive! While some appointments may take longer, most appointments can be completed in less than 15 minutes. Once samples arrive at Identigene, results will usually be available online and in the mail in less than three business days. That's all it takes to help participants with their paternity questions and gain peace of mind that comes from knowing the answer. You can see how quick and easy Identigene has made the process for both collectors and clients with a simple collection kit and fast, accurate results from our highly accredited laboratory. With Identigene, you can truly test assured.